Hello family, welcome to Easy Quick Academy. Today our main focus is momentum and impulse. Mind map for momentum and impulse. We're going to start with momentum, change in momentum, collision, Newton's law according to momentum, impulse, problem solving. Momentum. Momentum is the product. The word product means with multiplication. So momentum is the product of objects, velocity, and its mass. So momentum is the what the multiplication of mass and velocity, meaning that when you multiply mass and velocity of the object, you will get what you will get momentum. So if the object is stationary, it means that the momentum of that object is zero. But if the, the object starts to move, meaning that mom, that object will have what? Momentum. It will have that momentum. Ne? Example. Ne? Mm, a car of mass 200 kg is traveling at 20 meters per second. Calculate the momentum of the car. Ne? So you have to read with understanding. Step number two, you have to do it. You have to collect data always. Ne? Therefore, our mass is 200 kg. Our velocity 20 meters per second. Ne? Formula for momentum. M is equals to mass multiplied by velocity. Let us substitute now. So 200 times 20, we are going to get 4,000 kg meters per second. Uh, East. This is how you calculate momentum. Change in momentum. Ne? If the object changes its velocity, the momentum also does what it will change. This is called change in momentum. Ne? So delta, it represents which it's a change in momentum. So formula for change in momentum, it's Final momentum minus initial momentum. Ne? We can rewrite this formula. We can rewrite this formula in this way. Because if we know the formula of momentum, momentum is mv. But this is final momentum. So we have to have what? Final velocity. And also mv initial. We can also rewrite this formula. Because of m is common. If m is common, we are going to say m v final minus v initial ne? so you have to expect two cases ne? case number one name the object does what changes velocity but it does not change direction ne? case number two the object changes velocity and direction ne? so example ne? a car of mass 1200 is traveling at a velocity of 12 meters per second east accelerated to travel with a velocity of what 20 meters per second east Calculate the change in momentum of the car. Start with what? The original formula. So change in momentum is equal to P final minus P initial. Ne? But I told you Guti, all the time when solving physical science questions, physical sciences questions, you have to start with what? You read and you collect your data. You collect your data. You collect your data. So mass Final velocity, mm, 20.5 east. So east represent positive. Ne? East represent positive. Uh, v initial, 12.5 meters per second. Also east. Ne? So the formula, we are going to start with the original formula. Changing P We can rewrite this formula and write our mass V final minus V initial
1200 final velocity is 20.5 initial velocity is 12.5 when you press the calculator you're going to get 7 k g meters per second this is our answer uh let us go to let us quickly go to example number two let us, example number two a van of mass 1500 kg traveling at a velocity of 30 meters per second east then changes direction to travel at 40 meters west calculate the change in momentum of the car ne? so you have to start by collecting your data you have to start by collecting your data V initial 30 meters per second east, but V final ne? 40 meters per second what west. Ne? So don't forget that uh, east represent what east we represent east with the sign of positive and we represent where we represent west with the sign of what negative. Ne? negative uh we are done collecting our data we have to write our formula change in p it equals to p final minus what p initial now we can break the formula mass vf minus what v initial v initial so v final negative what negative 40 meter, uh, negative 40 minus positive 30 so the final answer is going to be don't forget that uh we represent what we represent west with the sign of negative yeah? so we can write West. Collision. Conservation of linear momentum. The total linear momentum in an isolated system, it remains what? The same. Meaning that uh, formula, the initial momentum before collision for two objects, it's equals to what? It's equals to the total momentum of two objects, but what? Final. Ne? Example. I have ball A and ball B. Ne? Ne? So the total momentum of ball A and ball B, ne? initial, let's say the total momentum P, the sum of P initial is equal to 5. Ne? The ball A and ball B, they collide after. After ball A and ball B. Ball B. Ne? So if the initial momentum, if the total, not just the initial, if the total momentum for ball A and ball B is equal to 5, also the, the final, what? The final momentum, the total final momentum of ball A and ball B after it will do what? It will be 5. Ne? So before collision, after collision ne? so you have to expect three cases ne? you have to expect three cases two objects they will collide two objects they will collide and separate case number one or two objects will collide and unite after ne? Or expect case number three. They will start as a unit. They will start as a unit and what? And separate after. Ne? So you have to master case one, case two, case three. Ne? So when you're dealing with case one, you have to know you're going to use this formula. Ne? You're going to use this formula. And case number two, if two objects, they unite after, meaning they unite, they're going to do what you're, they, they share what? They share final velocity. That's why you have to add mass 1 and mass 2. And velocity is common. Ne? 
if two objects they start as as unit, you have to do what add their velocity before, ne? And they share what they share initial velocity. They don't share final velocity. They share what initial velocity, ne? So when two objects are united, they are now called what a system. That's why I wrote v initial of a system because of it represent what it represent a velocity for mass one and mass two v final of a system it represent what a velocity for mass one and mass two final so you have to take your time to master case one case two and case three this is the strategy of killing what the collision questions example number one when two objects collide and separate, how to tackle such questions? Ne? We are going to use collision strategy. We have to read after reading, collect data in form of a, of a table and indicate direction. Ne? So step number three, ne? start with the original formula. Therefore, break your formula accordingly. Use the relevant equation. After, substitute and calculate the unknown variable. Example number two, when two objects collide and unite, how to tackle such questions? We are still going to use collision strategy. As we know, step number one, we have to do what read with understanding. While reading, we have to collect data in form of a table. And also while collecting your data, indicate the unknown variable. So the unknown final velocity of the system. So we are going to start with what original formula therefore break our formula after breaking our formula we have to substitute our values after substituting our values we have to calculate what unknown variable example number three when two objects are united then separate after how do you tackle such questions you have to read after reading collect your data so the mass of block a 20 kg the mass of block b 25 kg so initially block a and block b they share the initial velocity which is eight so we are requested to calculate the final velocity of a start with the original formula substitute then and get the unknown variable types of collisions we have elastic collision and inelastic collision both collisions the total momentum is conserved they differ on this principle kinetic energy elastic collision the total kinetic energy initial is equal to the total kinetic energy final but in elastic collision the total initial kinetic energy is not equal to the total final kinetic energy so in order to know that the collision is elastic or inelastic we have to use kinetic energy equation please write example number four in order to know how to differentiate between elastic and inelastic collision impulse impulse is the product of the net force and the time taken for the net force to act on the object formula no formula one formula number two and formula number three so the si unit for impulse is n s so study example number one example number two in order to expand your understanding about impulse